Hey, what's up? Today we'll be learning about the utility features that the 1.70 upgrade brings to the analog rhythm. Let's check them out. To start, the intensity of all the LEDs, including the display, can be adjusted in system settings. Enter global settings menu, scroll down to system, and at the top of the list, LED intensity can be set to low, mid, or max. Next, there are a couple new functions when holding down a trig with parameter locks. Let's get into grid record mode and hold down one of these tricks. We now have a quick indication through LEDs which pages have parameter locks. We can even see if there are any retrigs or micro timings on this trig. Let's preview this trig by holding it down and pressing yes. Now we can also save this trig as a sound. To do this, hold the trig down and press mute. Now select an empty slot, give it a name and save. Now that sound is saved to our device and can be loaded as needed. The sample page has also been improved with high resolution start and end parameters. If we go to the sample page and adjust these parameters, we will see that the value now has a decimal giving us more precision when working with samples. And another small improvement is samples can now be selected by pressing the deencoder in the sample page. Sequencer pages can now be looped with page playback. With record disabled, hold down the page button and trig 1 through 4 will dimly light up. Here we can select which pages we want to choose just one page, two pages, and what's really cool is you can skip pages in your loop. These green lights on the pads indicate which tracks will loop, so if we only want tracks 1, 2, 5, and 6 to loop, we just need to deselect the rest of these tracks. If you want to go back to normal playback, hold down page and press no. This final improvement only applies to Mark II devices. Loop recording now lets us record loops based on the current BPM when sampling or resampling. Enter the sampling menu by pressing this button and use the e-encoder to set how many steps you want to record for. These steps are based off your sequence and depending on the BPM will change the amount of time it samples. First is one step, then it doubles the steps count up to 128 steps. And max will let you sample up to 33 seconds or until we press yes to stop. A couple other improvements made are notes and semitones are shown in the trig page and the machine selection view is now grouped by type. I hope this video helps you out when exploring your device. There are a lot more improvements made in the 1.70 upgrade so check out our other videos and have fun. Peace.